Hello guys and here we are before the surprising rebirth of NXT UK and it's not happening next week, next month. No, it happens right here, right now, tonight. And I have this information uh, the, um, from the boss of directors that they allowed me to um, use this idea that I have that I brought up this past week on NXT to use it for a couple of days but I wanted to surprise everybody because everybody even me likes good surprises from time to time so I thought um, that it would surprise people and would um, be the best decision that we could make on this rebirth here tonight and also um, before we got the show started I want to get two things off of my chest uh, one um, one part of my promo uh, or uh, um, one part of the promo that we're holding right now um, is me in my uh, role as a interim general manager for both NXT and NXT UK <coughs> but also one in my role as one half of the tag team champions as a employed wrestler which was the only role that I had when I started here I started as a lone wolf I started as the wrestler and then I um, teamed up with Ambassa Briggs I became tag champs and all and interim general manager of NXT and NXT UK as well we will see how this will happen when our general man the uh, active general man uh, the uh, supposed to be general ma active general manager Wim Wiegel who got injured by the NXT champion Desi Mint Senior uh, a couple of months ago or over a half year or so ago um, uh, we will see how this will be when Wim Wiegel is finally able to return to NXT NXT UK um, perhaps he will be in charge of both brands maybe he will be in charge of NXT and NXT UK or I don't know uh, I have no information on that, but what I can confirm is that we have uh, the rebirth of NXT UK and um, the plans uh, for NXT UK's rebuild is uh, very, very simple. For uh, the next three weeks, the rosters between NXT and NXT UK will be the same. We won't have any splitted roster, we won't have anything um, interfering in our ways, you know. Um, you know anything that uh, could uh, prevent us from destroying the plans that we had for NXT uh, UK uh, World Tour Takeover event? Because uh, when the pay per view was planned, I had no information if the boss of directors really go with the plan of rebuilding um, NXT UK, and even if um, the time was just too short to um, make the complete uh, brand happening in just a couple of weeks because we had only three weeks uh, from Survivor Series to this uh, pay-per-view event and um, we are already in a bit of a hurry and we are we continue this hurry um, um, here tonight and in the next couple of weeks because we don't have that much time like we usually have for weeks uh, to prepare for the next pay-per-view event um, and um, yeah now we don't have that but um, I will do my best um, in both worlds as interim general manager of NXT and NXT UK and as you all know I'm a fair um, and com a fair general manager I want the best and the, f the um, most competitive matches with no not much of shenanigans um, and other people involved other than those who should be involved uh, also um, like I said, the roster will be split. Will be uh, we have the uh, NXT UK roster after the next paper, which will be in uh, three weeks uh, time from now, um, which will be in uh, the takeover. If the next takeover pay per view from us, it will be the World Tour uh, takeover event, which will take place in the United Kingdom. It's only fitting that after this match, there will be uh, two rosters, one of NXT, one of NXT UK, and uh, some people of NXT will go to NXT UK, but also NXT UK will get some uh, new people on the show who um, debut on NXT UK as well. Um, this will be um, also the case. Um, speaking of um, NXT UK, uh, of course, there uh, we have two champions uh, already um, um, for NXT UK. That's been the NXT UK champion Maskman, the NXT UK women champion uh, Stacy. Because we got the titles uh, because of um, NXT UK being out of the business, brought by us. Um, 
and now they're back in business and uh, those two champions will of course whoever are the champions after the pay-per-view will be going to NXT UK of course um, and also we will have um, um, changing plans um, also from the women's uh, tag team title picture much like it will is with uh, the WWE women's tag team champions which are still in possession of Nikki A.S.H. and Rhea Ripley um, will be uh, contested with both Raw and SmackDown like they do um, same will be for our NXT women's tag team titles because we don't have that many women's ta tag teams or that uh, much um, um, women in the women's roster uh, so we will have a shared tag titles with both NXT and NXT UK but those will be the only shared titles that we have but maybe from time to time people from NXT and NXT UK will be um, changing brands and uh, invading each other's shows this could be possibly happen but for most parts we will have two separate shows and um, hopefully it will be competitive and fair in both of those um, under my leadership Honestly, I, if this would happen years ago, I would, um, I would have uh, turned down the offer of this leadership. But um, I'm, a, I'm a change lone wolf, and I actually like to be in charge, even though I usually work alone and don't care about no one. But maybe that even helped because I don't, um, I don't, uh, you know, give anyone any uh, advantage on the roster. Not even myself. Not even my brother Big. Such not even. Um, my other brother Andy so no one gets here a free ticket uh, it will be a fair show in both shows but enough about that let's speak about um, the um, show here tonight the show here uh, since um, we are in a bit of a hurry of finding number one contenders and since NXT's number one content uh, the NXT, uh, that since this past week on NXT we found out the new number one contenders for both NXT UK titles it would be only fair to have here the number one contender matches for NXT <coughs> which considers the North American Championship from Destiny Jr and I will talk about him and his father later on in the promo as well um, they will be uh, mentioned later on as well for different reasons um, then we have also uh, number one, another number one contender battle royal for the NXT championship which is in the possession of juniors and nightmares father that's the mid senior um, and then we will and you might ask why there's so many battle royals as number one contender matches this last couple of weeks this uh, last couple of weeks well it's pretty simple in two weeks in two months we have the Royal Rumble and it's my favorite pay-per-view event of them all and I would love to see people of NXT and NXT UK compete in both men and women's Royal Rumble so um, I want to prepare our people in the best possible way so that's the that's the reason behind it and um, hopefully we will see some of our guys in the some of our people in some uh, wrestlers of both NXT and NXT UK in the Royal Rumble this would be um, this would be uh, uh, what I like to see uh, what I also would like to see is Clark back in action but since we don't have any update on his injury or his recovery time yet um, I have no other choice but to change the plans about the tag title number one contender match um, and the turn for to give uh, because I believe in fairness and uh, both as a wrestler and as a uh, general manager and so it would be on, wouldn't be fair to give him the shot even if he can come back but he wouldn't be at 100% so uh, I turn it from a fatal four way into a swimper sweat tag between the Demon Family, Master Ch Mountain and New Day and this match will also happen here tonight and they will meet no one in three weeks time at the pay-per-view at World to take over event in the United Kingdom none other than your truly NXT Tag Team Champions my, my brother Big Sash and myself the brothers against either Demon Family, Mustache Mountain or New Day and um, when Clark is able to recover from his injury and at 100% he will get a title shot for the, uh, an opportunity for a title shot uh, in some, one way or another with his teammate Blue Falcon because they earned it um, and, um, we, and um, we talk about uh, the demon f the uh, tag title from the male perspective but let's talk about the women's tag titles which be, will be like I said into, um, interesting for both NXT and NXT UK's uh, viewers and uh, wrestlers as well um, and um, then we have also 
um, a bit of a plane changer here tonight because uh, after the because the last couple of weeks in NXT, um, the Demon Family members, the female part of the Demon Family Nightmare, cancel away the our NXT Tag Team Champion, the NXT Tag Team Champions, and uh, Amber Moon uh, attacked and injured Nikki A.S.H., which results in a to a match between uh, Wea and Raquel versus Nightman Candice for later tonight, um, and a good. Um, l um, Good luck and speed recovery for Nikki SH. Uh, the best of wishes for a sh sh for quick recovery because even though she's sketchily part member of Raw uh, alongside her teammate Raquel, uh, her teammate Raquel, um, her teammate Wea, of course. Sorry, I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. Um, of course, with her teammate Wea, um, Wea and Nikki SH are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions for Monday Night Raw, but. Because of the attacks on Demon Family, they are and they uh, start competing at NXT the last two weeks, and um, it sucks that she <coughs> that she um, is taken out of the picture, and um, it's it's kind of sad for everybody, and we don't know what uh, the gen what uh, the uh, persons who are in charge for World SmackDown will do with uh, her injury, uh, and we also have no number one contender for. Nightman Candles uh, tag ties, but um, later tonight they will have tough test be with Rui and Raquel again as opponents, um, and also um, I want to get something. Uh, uh, also, it sucks that we have another f great uh, female talent injured. Nikki S H is out, down and out as much as the NXT Women Champion Dakota Kai, both uh, of course by the Demon Family. And it's kind of suck, but there yeah, tonight Raquel and uh, Rhea will team up against, like I said, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Nightman Candles. Um, while it was sketchy to be Nikki SH, Rhea Ripley, and Raquel Gonzalez versus Nightmare Candles and Amber, um, had to change it. And we don't know what um, if when Kota is able to recover. We don't even know if she will make it in uh, to the next pay per view in three weeks' time. Hopefully she does, and if so, uh, Amber might invoke her rematch clause. So. I don't know if we can make a number one contender match. Um, yeah, we have no update on that, so uh, I will sit, figure it out the next um, before the next NXT episode or so. Um, but yeah, we and I can't take the title of Kota because she's just injured a couple of weeks, and I don't know what to do at this point. I I don't. I would. I wouldn't want to take the title off her that she fought so desperately that she even risked the injury. And um, it's not fair. These are choice I do, and maybe give her another week, time or two. I, I. I don't know. I. I really don't know what would be the fair suggestions. Maybe some people can help me out with that, um, with their feedback uh, and their opinions, because I don't know what to do right now. It's. It's a tough decision for everyone, and especially if you, if uh, for me uh, who usually isn't in a role like this, and especially in this first reign as general manager, it sucks. It sucks, but what? But uh, let's do. Let's uh, take charge of. Uh, let's con do what. Uh, let's uh, do what we can control, and that's the show for tonight. And for tonight, we have a stacked up show, and it will be first in the opener after what a bang of a sh match they had. Uh, match Casey and Mandy had this past week on NXT. It will be Casey facing off against Mandy's teammate from the Toxic Blonde, Dana Brooke, and uh, I allow actually Mandy to uh, accompany Dana Brooke at ringside because for tonight, I uh, will. Um, Give every manager uh, and uh, stable and teammate, stable member, whatever, uh, the opportunity to uh, accompany their teammates because this past weeks of NXT we had low, we had less shenanigans and uh, stuff. So I think it's only fair to um, try it out and test it here tonight on this banging rebirth of NXT UK. Later, then we have Wesley. Uh, after the opener, we have then Wesley versus Andy, two upcoming stars and. Uh, Two uh, two uh, fighters who are already proved to be a highlight wheel for our show. Then we have the number one contender match for the NXT for the North American Championship, which will be a battle royal, like I already said, with my brother Big Zash and one of the tag team titles alongside myself. Big Zash versus Aswail versus Roman Dosa versus Aria Davari versus Only Lockin versus Tyler Breeze 
uh, one of them will get the title opportunity against Test Team in Junior. And uh, then we have this um, tag team match between Will Whipley and Raquel Gonzalez against the NXT Tag Team Champions, Candice and Nightmare from the Demon Family. Usually it was supposed to be a, a six woman tag match with Nikki SH, Rhea and Raquel versus Demon Family members, Nightmare, Candice and Amber, but need to be scratched. So, like I said, Amber is allowed to. Uh, company nine man cancer at ringside but it's up to her it's like it's up to mandy if they want to uh, accompany their teammates here tonight uh, then after this match we have the number one contender battle royal for the nxc championship between wesley blade blue falcon uh wait 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 um i actually uh i actually made the mistake it's not wesley it's worth um sorry for that i I uh, already put Wesley in action, so it would be only fair to have Swerve in there. It would be Swerve versus Blade versus Blue Falcon versus Jackie and White versus Legend Killer. And the last person is myself, and the winner will face none other than the devilish, demonic NXT champion, Destiny Mancini, was in the second reign as the damn champion. Then we have the Triple Tag number one contender match for the for our tag tiles um, from. Uh, um, myself and my brother Big Sash, who is standing, who we see standing before you guys here in the backstage area. Uh, it will be either Message Mountain, New Day, or Demon Family. That's the, the father and son duo, that is, of course. That's Demon Junior, that's Demon Senior. Um, then we have Mask, then we have, um, there's the two main events here tonight. We have the former NXT Women's Champion, two time NXT Women's, uh, NXT UK Women's Champion. Um, um, and the new number one contender for Stacey's title, uh, Zia Lee versus Sue Cox here tonight. Um, then we have the other main event, and this will be the NXT UK champion Maskman versus Roddy Strong, his number one contender, who attacked him last week, uh, this past week at NXT. Um, and um, so, since we're done with the uh, with the um, speech as a general manager let's get quickly to the part of a wrestler like I said before hitting the promo as a wrestler I have to s talk about one topic and one topic only and that's the demon family attacking myself and my brother Big Sash this past week on NXT and we don't know what this was attack this ambush was all about by those cowards but honestly Neither of us really care what this is all about. Maybe they didn't like my my act, my role as an active inter interim general manager because of the decision that I made. But it was nothing against the demon family specifically. It was against their numbers game and cheap shots. So if that if that's the reason why it was nothing p against them personally, it was just to. Uh, put the shown orders like I did with the Toxic Blondes and other teams who already uh, put down shenanigans and attacks and uh, cheap shots and numbers game um, to prevent the show from being unfair and uh, outnumbered so I did it because it was the best of the show so it was nothing against the Demon Family and I didn't even ban Destiny Senior from uh, the uh, show um, two weeks ago it was not my call it was the call of the borders of the Wackers. I just agreed on it to be the better of the show safety and uh, since he didn't have a scheduled match it would be uh, nothing to do before a Survivor Series match it would be fair uh, to each and everyone involved because the other matches that needed to take place uh, at this episode two weeks ago and would be only fair to uh, give him the night off and uh, even though it wasn't a night off, it was more being banned from the arena. Um, I just agreed on that, but um, maybe he just took, out the f took it personally, even though it was nothing against him or his demon family. Um, and also, um, but like I said, uh, maybe it wasn't just, but maybe it wasn't um, because of that, maybe it was that they're just searching for the next victims after tormenting and injuring so many people some of the toughest men that will be um, not just in NXT history go in as the toughest man but also in the entire not, not just the entire WWE but also the entire wrestling industry the, the entire world even the, those men are so tough that uh, they would get um, uh, 
the good would get awarded for it by the Guinness uh, World Record book. So tough, uh, so tough are they, and they got injured by the demon families with their numbers game, the shenanigans, their demonic powers. Call it crap, like you want to call it, and I call it crap because yeah, they might be a half demon and a half demon. But they're also cowards, like they attacked my brother and myself this past week on NXT. They attacked us from behind, like little cowards, like little bitches. And if they wanted to fight for what reason forever, they could have just asked. Of course we would have agreed, because we have, unlike them, we are fighters. And we won't take down any opportunities to fight in a fair contest. But that's might have been something that they are unfamiliar with, that they don't know about. Because they're seen in senior, you might be devilish, you might be demonic, but you also are nothing to me, you also are nothing more than a coward and a little bitch who hides behind his family and his cheap shots, his shenanigans and this supernatural aura, the fear of the opponents perhaps, and also the powers that you supposed to have I don't believe this crap unlike uh, un unless I can see it unlike I can feel that it is that you have those powers because I only believe in what I see and what I know and if as far as that doesn't change I don't believe it one bit as much as I don't believe that you are a worthy NXT champion. And um, also, you might have made the biggest mistake, not just of your career, not just of your title reign, but also your entire life. Because in, back when I grew up, there was always one thing getting in my head, and that was be careful, not saying, be careful who you mess with. And it protected me from making stupid decisions, from being, you know, from uh, being rude to anyone. Because I don't know these people. I don't know what they're up to. I don't know who they know and what they're all about and what they might do, might have done to me. So I always was that careful and, um, and uh, nicely to them because I didn't know who they know or what they're all about so I either just ignore people or just were nice to them so and friendly to them so um, and that always protected me from making stupid decisions unlike you demon because you made a stupid decision when you attacked me and my brother because you don't know either of us you don't know big such you don't know me whatsoever we never met before and even if we do even if we would have met before in the ring you wouldn't know no one damn thing about us so you so um like i said you made the biggest mistake and you will realize one way or another what a mistake it was and it doesn't matter if my if big such and i have to wait to a week, two weeks to get our revenge at the next pay-per-view event. It doesn't matter if we get a revenge next week at NXT. It doesn't matter if we get our revenge next week on NXT UK. It doesn't really matter when we get our revenge because we will get our revenge on one way or another. And we we have patience, we have time, and we don't care as long as we get what. We're looking for this none other than the revenge, but also to um, make you and your son realize that you don't have any chance against the brothers whatsoever. Because we are the dominant force in NXT, not you with your cheap shot, your shenanigans. You're supposed to be powers and demonic shit. Because for me, unlike I didn't see it, I don't know it, it is nothing more like crap. Or, my, or put it more specifically, until I 
don't I can't confirm your demonic powers and the other demonic crap that you are supposed to be supposed to do unless I can confirm it it doesn't exist not for me and not for Big Zosh and not for anyone in the arena as well I believe but maybe you got some believers but it doesn't matter because no one cares demon the people only care that you've been put in your place and that we have a new NXT champion and um, Big Sash and I we don't know if you and your son can actually win your number one contender match later tonight against Massage Mountain and New Day we don't know if you can become the number one contender for our tag tiles but what we can do however is to win ourselves title opportunities for your titles for the next takeover event which will be the world to the United Kingdom in three weeks so Big Sash and myself we will be very very focused of winning both of the battle royals later tonight and we will do our best to make sure that we will be the new number one contenders for the end for juniors North but for both juniors North American Championship and his father's NXT championship so that there will be champion finally champions who put back honor and respect to their titles at f as fair and fighting champions and that's uh, all that we had to say less talking more action so let's hit the m hit the first music <laughs> 